First, begin by removing all your makeup from the day before. Um, it's just a very good habit to cleanse your face by removing all the makeup just to start with a clean slate for your night out. Um, next, begin by cleansing your face. I use the Yes to Cucumbers Facial Towelettes. Take one of those little buddies and wipe your face down to clean your pores and just really help your face refresh before you apply your makeup. Next, moisturize your face. Put some kind of moisturizer over your skin just to moisturize it and help it be healthier before putting foundation on. Next, use a lip moisturizer. I use the Burt's Bees Lip Balm just to prime your lips before we do anything to them. Next, use the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. Um, this really helps your foundation stay on all night and just apply it all over your face and it's a very universal skin tone so anyone can use it and it's just an amazing primer. Next, I uh, used some kind of foundation. I used MAC foundation. I used a brush starting to apply it on my face and just starting to blend it out. I started on my cheeks and then to my chin. I just really tried to get the foundation everywhere and make it look as natural as possible. The foundation brush I have, I got from MAC. It's actually a very good foundation brush. It really helps you get into all the spots and blend very well. As you can see, I kind of pile it on and then I blend it. Um, really make sure to blend it at the chin line just to make sure you can't tell that it's maybe a different skin color or just to help blend it out. Um, try to blend it as many places as you can just to make it look as natural as possible. And just begin to blend your foundation. Next, apply concealer. I use the Stila Concealer. Um, it's just a very creamy and very blendable concealer. I used a concealer brush to apply it to my problematic spots or my spots where I may have a blemish or an acne or a pimple. Tried to cover it up and then I blend it out around the rim of the pimple to help conceal it. Next, I use the Makeup Forever HD Pressed Powder. I took a powder brush and just plopped it all over my face to help take away all the shine and any leftover particles just help seal in everything with a finishing powder. Next, I use the Urban Decay Found Eyeshadow Primer. Put it on both of my fingers and just massaged it into my eyelids to make the eyeshadows stay on and the entire night when I go out. Next, um, I'm using the Naked 2 Urban Decay Eyeshadow Palette. So start with Foxy, which is a lighter eyeshadow tone and apply it to your entire lid and upper lid using an eyeshadow brush. Just apply it everywhere. It's a great base color for our uh, eyeshadow look. Just apply it to the entire lid. Um, that's a great way to start an eyeshadow look. To start with a lighter color. Just apply it pretty heavy. You want it to be a pretty strong look. Make it a little heavier on the eyelids. Next, take Snake Bite and apply it to your outer crease trying to blend it and make it only on the crease because sometimes it gets on the eyelid try to keep it in there as possible and just apply it and kind of blend it a little bit always trying to blend it inwards and that's just the best way to blend it and yeah Next, take um, a blending brush, this is just a plain brush, and blend the eyeshadow in towards the inner eye, the inner eye. Um, just trying to blend it in so it kind of has a smoky eye effect almost, trying to make that look. Um, next, take Grenade and put it on the lid. It's more of a yellow tone and it just looks great on the eye. So just put that in on the eyelid not on the crease, just on the inner eyelid. And then take your blending brush again and blend everything into each other, trying to make sure to angle and blend it inwards. Always don't blend it out, blend it inwards. That's just the best way to blend. Um, yeah, wipe under your eyes to get all the crumbs away. Next, I took the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer 
and put it on my fingers and then just put it under my eyelids, under my eyes, to pick up all the extra eyeshadow that may have fallen, just to wipe it all away and lick it, make it look sleeker and more clean. It's just a great way to pick up all the dust. Next, I took the browsing from Benefits, and I took the eye, the, um, the powder, and took a eyebrow brush and just blended my eyebrows, trying to make them look as natural as possible. And just starting from the end and blending it, you want to make it look as fuzzy as possible almost because you want it to look as natural. Then taking a spoolie brush and wiping it across my eyebrows to brush them out and blend. Next, I took the Urban Decay Eyeliner in Black Jet and put it on my waterline, trying to make it not too thick, but a pretty good amount. Um, and next, I took my eyeshadow curler from Benefits and curled my upper eyelashes to begin to apply a mascara. I used the Rocket Mascara from Maybelline and just applied that to my upper and my lower lashes. It's just a very great mascara. I love having my eyelashes to look very, very long. So I used that on upper and lower. Then I took this MAC little packet. I used the blush, the sparkles, and the bronzer. Starting with the blush, I put it on my the apples of my cheeks. Then I took these sparkles and applied it to my apples of my cheeks and my forehead, just kind of all over to add a little sparkle to my face, and just blended that in. And next, I took a angled brush and put the bronzer on my fish line or my shadow line to see where my shadow lined up, and then put it on my T-zone, which is your forehead, your cheeks, and your chin line. Next, I put a red lipstick from Maybelline. It's just a pinkish color. Applied it to my lips. Did a little pout. And I'm done. This is a beautiful going out makeup look.